everyone, my name is Helen, and I just thought I'm going to talk to you a little bit about manners. Now, when somebody's applying for work, it's obviously important that you come across great, and that's where your CV kicks in. When you get to the interview stage, manners are absolutely imperative. Now, we have various um, online, um, on very television, um, about sort of manners and dress to impress. But equally, manners is really important when you come into the workplace because ultimately, the colleagues that you're going to be working with um, are going to be the ones that are with you eight, nine hours a day. Now, it's little basic things, you know, holding the door open for somebody. If you stick in a kettle on, does anybody else want a tea or coffee? Now, please and thank you do, at times for me, seem words that some people do forget. Even a smile, you know, for, for me, you know, rather than a, a growl or a, or a glary eyes can be really important in the manners that, that you put across. So ultimately, if you're looking for good working relationships, then there is an age old saying, treat people how you would like to be treated yourself. So, you know, if you're one of these people that maybe you're rude, arrogant, don't hold doors open for people, don't moan when somebody does it to you. Because ultimately, you're being treated in a way that, you know, you're giving out. Um, you know, when you're looking for promotion, people, for me, the people that are looking with great manners, is somebody that obviously wants to do well, um, again, always offering to help. Um, you know, somebody that maybe will like pick up a load of work that's on the stairs in an office that need to be carried up. Now you might think, well, you know, that's obvious, that's great if you're that type of person that would do that. But I've seen plenty of times when somebody has stepped over something and it's a case of you're going upstairs, you know, it would be nice. And again, you would class this automatically as manners, but personally I think if you've been brought up correctly, it's the little things that make the difference. Um, and as I said recently to someone, you know, people won't always remember, you know, what you say to them. They won't always remember the actions that you do, but they will remember how you make them feel. And if you are rude to somebody or your manners come across as a little bit arrogant or obnoxious, then they're going to remember that. And that's certainly not what you want to be remembered. So, you know, whether you're going for an interview, whether you're working with a team, just remember obviously how you come across and just how a please, a thank you or a smile can work wonders. Thank you.